Uh, don't you just love watching the sunset of Minecraft? It's just so majestic and relaxing. It's like all your worries, just leave. The only problem is, is that when it gets dark, the monsters come out. Good thing I built this lovely path to keep me safe. Oh no, not again. That was my only way across. Looks like I'm gonna have to brave it. I'm gonna have to do it. Uh. Oh! <laughs> Suckers! Give me some of these. Okay, so what this mod is, um, it was suggested to me by a viewer named Cody. Thank you, Cody. It's whenever I'm in a light level, let's open up this, you can see my light level here is 12. Whenever it drops below 12, these NPCs will attack me. And so if I run over here to these torches and punch them out, you can see now they all go crazy until I'm in the light. It's actually a really simple concept. Okay. So all this code really is, it all revolves around this magic function here called func72957 underscore L. Um, if that was to be given a proper name and not just garbage, it would be called get light level. And so all I'm doing here is I'm getting a target, checking to see if the target exists, then checking the light level. It's all you really need to do. So let's do one together now. I've got this wolf here. He's set to aggressive. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the target event. And I'm going to say target equals event dot get target. And so whenever this wolf will target its enemy, this event's going to be called. And then the first thing I want to do is to check does the target exist. And for that I can just say if target. And then if the target does exist, I want to get the Minecraft world because I'm using an unexposed function and then use dot func one five oh sorry seven two nine uh, five seven underscore L. Now I don't remember these off by heart, I've just got them saved. Um, then I can use target dot get x because it takes three parameters, an X, a Y, and a Z parameter. And so I just want to get those from the target. And target dot get, oh, that's not a target, the target dot get Z. And then what I want to do is I want to check to see if it's above 10, so 11 or higher, I'm gonna cancel it. And so I'm gonna say event dot set canceled true and so that just means if the targets in a light level um, above 10 don't bother targeting it and see there's not much code there and the update one is pretty much identical except instead of getting the target from the event you're getting it from the NPC so it's MC .get attack target. now if you're not very good at copying code off screen or it's just maybe you're watching on a mobile device I am going to chuck a link in the description with all my code and so you can just copy and paste it from there, it's much easier. So we're doing the same thing, checking that the target exists and then we're going to get the light level. Um, 72957 underscore L. Uh, these codes, when they look like that, they're sort of unstable to use because what works in this Minecraft version won't work in the next. So I'm doing this in 1.7.10. I can't guarantee it's going to work in any other version. And here I check to see if it's above 8 because I like to, you know, if you're running from a monster you want to be in safety. Like, I don't know, I've just found in testing 8's a better number. So then here we're going to say mpc dot set attack target null, and so that just says 
whoever you're attacking forget about it and let's test this and so I'll stand up on my safety block this creep is also rigged to attack um, and I have to set my game mode to survival mode and set the time to night now there is a downside to these is that it only works with NPCs not uh, natural spawning mobs which you can see I've turned them off so you do have to spawn these all in manually but on the upside you can clone them using a cloner and so that way you can just place what you want say if I want another or maybe I want a spider I spawn a spider in. and I've already configured this guy he's all set up with the scripts and so he can just attack me and so if I go into the dark here you can see uh, they all started attacking me that's scary but in the light they won't sweet as well that's all I've got for you today um, thanks for popping by and watching and I'll see you in the next video you there loyal viewer YouTube tells me that only 20% of people will watch up to this point which makes sense because I know when I watch a tutorial I normally just gap it after I've seen what I want to see um, so I want to thank you thank you for all your support and actually watching the video I feel bad though I have not put out a video in a long time and I want to apologize I've been really busy and I've been chucking it to the back of my priorities um, mainly because it's just such a big hassle like for example this video there's a lawnmower in the back that's my neighbors um, and this is actually my third <laughs> time I've recorded this video the first time um, the video is corrupted the second time they didn't record at all this time I'm really hoping I've done it now and so it's just a big effort to get videos out but I want to put more out and so that's where you come in I a uh, while ago I had some comments asking if I would ever consider doing a let's play and I've thought maybe there'd be something fun that I could do I mean I would love to do a survival where I've got custom NPCs and maybe a few custom mods that I write myself specifically for the let's play I was thinking maybe I could even stream it because I have a twitch account and I do stream there occasionally uh, there's a link in the description if you want to check that out but it's all up to you what do you want to see the loyal viewers I mean I and at the end of the day I'm doing this for you do you want me to just stick to these tutorials maybe there's other types of tutorials you want me to do leave your suggestions in the comment boxes below and I'll see you in the next video thanks again bye